where where are we doing what are we doing today? Hiking. Where are we hiking at? What are we hiking Oppley. on? Operation Trail. Okay. Do you know where we started at? Yes. Where? <laughs> at that, at that, um, we started at Big Flat and we're going to hike to Michaud Road, correct? Yep. It's about six miles. Try to go so high in the sky that you never come down. You can follow every dream, but when it seems everything you believe never works out, remember I'm right here for you. When everything comes on. We got the first Woods Road we're crossing here. Not sure what the name of this road is, but they do use it for snowmobiling, I think. Uh, it's a parking area and it goes up to a state forest road here. I'm not sure if that's Ridge Road or what that is. How you holding up there, bud? Huh? Look at the camera. We've gone all probably a mile, mile and a half. So we're doing good. Hey, look at me, bud. Right, move on. Making a cell phone call on the Appalachian Trail. We're out yeah. in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Woods all around. I'm still here. Nothing here but woods. I, I'm, <laughs> you see, there's a trail going that way. There's a white blaze. Yeah, there's a white blaze. Um, yeah. We're gonna be back by the yeah. Probably should be. More we more more Mount Laurel. We're gonna be. We had Grandma was concerned that we had phone reception, so. We have, we're on okay. Mount we just come down the trail here. Pretty little walk down through here, Tell and uh, an we found a lot of a lot. We've been seeing a lot of places where there's been stealth camping, but this is the first one I've come to where there's actually a fire pit. It's a good little spot to camp. It's pretty much a primitive campsite. Somebody stealth camped here. I guess it didn't really ain't a stealth camp. It isn't a low trace camp because they left a fire pit. They burned the ground. So uh, it'll be a place to camp in the future. If you cut through here and you, let's say Tom's Tom's runs filled up or something, you need another place. You can keep on coming and you get there's places out along here where we can stealth camp. At least here's one we could go with with uh, fire pit. You could actually have a fire. So you like the hike, all right, boy. moving on. I do. Well, then why are you wanting to go home? Well, there's a uh, fire pit, so we've had a big, it's a big open area where people have been camping. Look at this big enough almost to put a whole troop of scouts in here almost. It's that big. It's a great big open area. It's a great place for a hammock hang. Bunch of guys in a hammock. There's a trail going off this way. I'm not quite sure where that goes to. But uh, this is a Tom's nice Runs tributaries, area. I guess. Starts on the way up there. <coughs> yep. And it goes down there. Down through here. Let's go. Everything goes on down. We're going to cross. Go on down through, Bobby. Across the creek. Going across. Step across. Just step across. Step across. There you go. Go on. It looks like a fish. What looks like a fish? This is good, clean water running here. Let me tell you. This is crystal clear. That looks like a fish. Yes, sir. That'd be safe enough to drink right there without even filtering it. 
We're at Tom's Run Shelter. Here's the bridge going across Tom's Run. Trail meanders over there, and right there is the shelter. See the roof of it? And we're going to have some lunch there, I believe. Maybe a little look at Tom's Run coming down through here. Pretty. Just babbling along, going underneath the bridge here. Here's a little tributary coming in over here to the left. Coming down off the mountain. Yep, going on down through. Real pretty. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. God love this place. Wow. What do you think, buddy? Uh-huh. You like that? Sometimes we like to come up here. We are at Tom's Run. Here apparently was an old hearth of some type that they had as the old cabin maybe was here. There was an old cabin possibly here or a, uh, a uh, part of the shelter. They might have had something built on here as part of the original shelter for the AT. But there's the old smokestack from it and the woods to, I guess they put the fire in the base of it. The fire went in the base there. Also, Something a new addition here since 1976 when I was dad back here last is this little object right here Now this thing here is an interesting thing for those of you who don't know what this is. This is a bear hang <clears throat> You hang your bear bag on there So apparently we've been seeing bear and they've been frequenting this area quite a bit Otherwise the folks here at the AT would never have put this up here uh, Potomac Appalachian Trail Club, pretty responsible bunch of people, and they, I can't imagine them putting something in here like this, as heavy as that son of a gun is, to carry that all this distance without just to put it in here for the sake of putting it in here, if they're not seeing bear in this area. Now I know up at Pine Grove I saw bear a couple weeks ago, about a month and a half ago. So apparently there's bear roaming the woods in this area, so there must be several of them. So. This is a new addition, brand new addition. They're trying to reforest this area, try to please stay out of there. Down the trail. Here's the other shelter down there. Here's this one. This has got a pretty new roof on the on the thing. Up there's the privy. The privy. The privy, the privy, the poop place. Yeah, yeah. Here's my grandson. There's Bub. Bubbers hanging out there. Just hanging. Somebody done some work from time to time because there's a concrete slab. I can't imagine they poured concrete up here. Paul carried the stuff in here, hauled it in here somehow. I don't know how the heck they'd ever got it up here. But they did. They hauled all this wood in. They hauled that damn heavy metal bear thing up here. There's a lot of work here. I can't imagine. But it's pretty. You see shelters look fairly new. They're maybe 10, 12 years old maybe. I don't know. They look like they're pretty good shape. Pretty new. I don't remember them being this don't remember him being this good when I was here. No. That was 76. That was a long time ago. That was 30 over 30 some years ago. Alright. Talk to you later. I'll always be right here for you. No matter what you do.